Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night breaking news right here on the Trad Cat Night org YouTube channel. Folks, amidst so much censorship happening, a lot of major channels being pulled down on YouTube, uh, including SGT Report, where one of my videos that had somewhere in the neighborhood of 500, 600,000 views uh, went down. Sean over at SGT Report, uh, X22 Report, uh, good friend Adam Green over at No More News uh, was pulled down. Uh, this is in part why we hide behind a paywall here at trancatnight.org. I've been doing so for quite some time. I knew it would ultimately come to this, folks. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I hide behind a paywall. In any case, folks, a lot happening, uh, if you will, around the world. Uh, we just had a few days ago, Turkey, Greece, a major quake. Of course, uh, this will be more and more the trend as the Planet X system gets closer. They had a tsunami involved. And, uh, Let's continue to pray uh, for all those involved uh, in the area. But again, according to uh, Catholic prophecy, no coastline is safe. And uh, also we've got the 2020 selections uh, forthcoming. You all know my thesis in regards to how uh, this will more than likely uh, play out. Uh, but be prepared for post-election pandemonium. It's one of the reasons why I bring on some of the top preppers and survivalists, uh, friends of the program here. And uh, we're trying to do our very best uh, as eagles to stay prepared to always be ready for change and we don't mean on the theological level because this world is going to be changing on every level folks from here on out economically socially politically just in your own demographic areas it is going to continually change and we have to be ready now uh, we also have a news of course a uh, sad news uh news that should uh have righteous anger uh, cause the, the, the righteous anger in us to be flowing through our veins. Uh, the beheadings happening in, in France, just the persecution which is happening, which Marie Julie Jehenny uh, predicted. Uh, there's still far worse events uh, coming uh, for France. Uh, Paris, specifically a nuclear attack, uh, which will kill the vast majority in the not so distant future. I run a podcast a series with Xavier A. Rao. Uh, every month, sometimes bringing on Isabel Shizabura, who is the woman who has the original Marie Julie Jehenny uh, revelations in um, French. She maintains her home still in Brittany. Uh, I'm going to try to make that happen again over the next uh, two to three weeks. Uh, but in any case, folks, I've got a movie um, on Vimeo. Uh, Marie Julie Jehenny. Sorry, uh, Dr. David Duke was uh, messaging me there. He's on, he's going to be on the program tomorrow. Uh, I've got a Marie Julie Jehenny movie on Vimeo. Check it out. Three Days of Darkness. Um, it is still going strong after, I don't know, it's been well over a year since we put it out there. And it's about two and a half hours long. Uh, in conjunction with that, I have a woman uh, who runs a Three Days of Darkness kits program uh, exclusive to Trad Cat Night members. Uh, wherein you could get the prayer, sacramentals, herbs, great startup kit. Uh, everything is um, shipped to you at cost. I'm not profiting. She's not profiting off of it. All the sacramentals are blessed by Father Voigt up in the Minnesota area. And so it's another reason to come join uh, Trad Cat Night community. I've got numerous resource pages, links to live masses, holy hour, divine office. And folks, we've got a major web conference uh, forthcoming on the 21st. This is going to be a tremendous conference uh, featuring some of the top uh, Catholic priests and apologists and journalists uh, from around the world. 
How about this for some names? Father Richard Boyd will be there. SSPX Resistance. We've got uh, Monsignor Perez uh, from out there. Uh, in, uh, he's out in Garden Grove, California. Many of you might uh, recognize him from the Fatima Center conferences he used to do. We got Gerard Olcoman, international renown, a journalist who's stationed right there uh, in Brittany, France. He'll be joining the program. Paul Stark, the man behind the Vatican Deception film on Vimeo. And he's got a new documentary coming out, uh, by the way. Come uh, join us at tradcatnight.org and listen to uh, our latest podcast together uh, from a few days ago. He gives the details on that. And last but not least, Bernard Jansen will be there. The man, uh, as you know, was friends with Father Malachi Martin. You can still see his videos on YouTube where he interviews Father Malachi Martin. And it's been a while since I've had Bernard on the program, probably about a year or so. And, of course, I will be there. So the theme for this one is Vatican Deception Exposing the Counterfeit Church. We're getting dangerously, dangerously close to the arrival of the Antichrist. I've been saying this now for numerous years. Uh, for numerous years that the Antichrist was right around the corner. Just depending upon when that economic collapse happens, uh, we could very well see his face for the first time in 2021. Uh, but folks, uh, we've got more top rabbis talking about how they're holding meetings with the quote-unquote Messiah. More Third Temple talk today, talking about how it's imminent, how, how it will be done over the next year or two or whatnot. This is not 40 or 50 years away. Those traditionalists who's, who are uh, being complacent, they're not prepping, and they think, well... Uh, everything's going to be hunky-dory here in a minute, and the communists will just be uh, gone and, and done away with. No, that's not how, it gonna play, how it's going to play out. We're going to go through the tribulation, then the great tribulation. And uh, this is why we implore more and more new folks to come over to trackatnight.org. We continue to grow on a monthly basis. As a matter of fact, we had a few more priests uh, joining uh, the Tradcat Night community, one of which is right there in France, uh, who was very fond of uh, Father Kramer's works and how he has utterly dismantled uh, Saul's and Sisko's true or false uh, Pope uh, book. And by the way, Saul's and Sisko have finally tapped out. I guess they just uh, thought that uh, because uh, those in the SSPX, uh, including the Angeles Press, uh, just couldn't get behind his work anymore, that they just tapped out and they've gone full blown Nova Sordo. No surprise there, though, unfortunately. So we've got the web conference forthcoming. And by the way, that's the November one. How about this one for the December one, folks? Uh, it's going to be a uh, global medical police state put on watch. We're going to have Dr. Judy Mikevitz there. We're going to have Dr. Sherry Tenpenny there. We're going to have Dr. Carrie Madai there. We're going to have Celeste Salome. We're going to have Ramola D. And myself will be there for the December web conference. It's going to be truly amazing. Um, and in regards to uh, some of the latest happening here at Tradcat Night, uh, I've got an article up, my latest article in regards to the great persecution. We know how bad it's going to get in the not so distant future. Catholic Prophecy paints a very vibrant picture uh, in regards to how the Catholic Church will be underground. Uh, we will be on the run, uh, more or less. And we've got to continue to stand and fight, folks. Uh, I can't say this enough. We're going to have to be wise like serpents uh, in the days ahead. And. In regards to the programming, um, just very briefly, folks. Again, I haven't done one of these in about a week. Uh, again, when you get over to trancatnight.org, you're going to see just how much information there is. There's no other uh, Christian website out there like it. I'm podcasting Monday through Saturday, folks. Typically three or four guests on every day. On Saturday, I had five guests on the program. Some of the top names uh, from around the world. And uh, just this past week alone... Uh, I had on the program John Whitehead, constitutional attorney uh, from the Rutherford Institute, breaking down uh, the latest police day. Gary Wayne is always a great talk. Uh, we cover all kinds of uh, end time uh, related topics. Uh, Gary is a, is a great, um, great guy to get on the program in regards to just his general knowledge in regards uh, to the end times. And I always look forward to doing shows. Uh, with Gary, we had Nicholas uh, Lanhold, Catholic uh, militia man, politician on the program this past week. Leo Homan, investigative journalist, uh, breaking down the, the latest, latest with the uh, COVID-19 uh, situation. We had uh, Dr. Jim Fetzer uh, on the program, again, breaking down the elections. Dr. Tom O'Brien talking about detoxification. I had Leor Gantz on the program. Father Paul Kramer joined the program. Uh, yet again, uh, breaking down the latest uh, anti-Pope Bergoglio uh, nonsensical 
uh, encyclical and his same-sex civil union support, which so many modernists are trying to uh, trying to veil, right? I don't know who is more pathetic, right? Anti-Pope Francis or his modernist apologist. How about Tim Staples coming out and reassuring everyone that Francis is still Catholic? Uh, no, and neither are you, Tim Staples, unfortunately. We had uh, Alex Newman uh, back on the program from the Liberty Sentinel. Uh, we're supposed to have Monsignor Perez on. I just heard back from him. We're going to reschedule that one. It'll be this week, folks. We'll have Monsignor back uh, on the program. Dr. Lorraine Day joined the program. I had to reschedule Leo Zagami. Uh, he will also uh, be this week. We had Jill Colton, Canadian Catholic, on the program. Paul Stark. Uh, the man behind the Vatican deception film, as I mentioned before, Dr. Paul Cottrell, uh, breaking down COVID-19. And uh, the one I wanted to highlight was a Latin American Catholic attorney, Carmen G, who joined the program. And uh, we went through and broke down Freemasonry a little bit more, uh, symbology, the number 13 specifically, I walked through uh, the coming Antichrist, was the heirs of Russia more than just what we think. But the main premise was we've got more evidence to suggest that Francis was indeed, or is indeed, a Freemason. As a matter of fact, I just heard back from her tonight, and I think she's getting the article that we were working off of referenced, which was originally in, oh, I, I don't want to say it was the it Italian. Uh, it was definitely in some foreign language. I think she has translated it, and I'm going to put it up on the website, I think, here, probably right after I post this. Uh, promo piece. So get on over to trackatnight.org to check out this uh, latest article. More evidence proving Francis is indeed a Freemason. I was the first to tell you in the Catholic world that Francis was an anti-pope. And I told you many more people would begin to see this as a reality. This has come to pass. Folks, I've warned you about the UFO agenda. I've warned you about the coming economic collapse. And Eagle is saying, whoa, whoa, and whoa. But how many will listen? Come join us, End Time Eagles, that St. Louis de Montfort talked about. We will have a share, a co-share, in this victory over the Antichrist. We need to prepare, folks. We need to begin to solidify our communities, if you will, uh, off the radar. And this is what we're exactly what we're trying to do here at tradcatnight.org. You'll see uh, and hear me talk about this more behind the paywall. Can't divulge too much out here in public. But in any case, folks, join trancatnight.org today. All of this is going to be in the description box. All the web conferences that I've talked about, uh, the Vimeo, a Marie Julie Jehenny movie. What I'm about to tell you here is how to get connected to trancatnight.org exclusive information. You go into that description box, click it. You'll see that link. Become a member to trancatnight.org. And you can just go ahead and click it. It'll pop up uh, Stripe. Uh, it's the payment processor. It is $20 a month. $10 was simply an introductory rate. Uh, so please uh, don't pay attention to that video that pops up. That's like three years old. Uh, you just put, put in your information. It'll then link you to uh, a program called Memberful. You can upload your photo uh, and do all kinds of snazzy things, sort of like what you could do uh, on Facebook. And uh, you can join the program. We've got an awful lot of uh, big names from around the world uh, who have joined uh, the Tradcat Night team. I already mentioned uh, a few more priests uh, this week have joined. And uh, I would argue don't delay, folks. You're going to want to stay ahead of the game in regards to what is about to occur. 25 plus posts on a regular basis. It's highly interactive. Again, I already mentioned the numerous resource page. Uh, pages, uh, my own writings from Fortress of the Soul, the book that I'm working on uh, will be there. You can cancel at any time. And according to Feedspot, uh, we're the number one Catholic podcast and information service. It's highly unique. You're not going to find the information that I present on other uh, Catholic websites because it's just deemed too conspiratorial, I guess, right? The vanilla quasi-traditionalist uh, sites that are out there, and they are quite a few of them. You'll get access to my podcast archive. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of Father Gruner, uh, who, uh, God rest his soul, uh, used to follow uh, Tradcat Night uh, material on a regular basis. This was divulged to me by a higher up in the Fatima Center uh, some years ago. Uh, but in any case, Father Gruner also held the position that Francis was an anti-pope. So a lot happening here, folks, at tradcatnight.org. Hope to see some new faces. If you got any questions... Uh, you can get over to trackhandnight.org and click that contact button and get a hold of me, folks. But I just want to 
Uh, saying conclusion here, know that I'm praying for you. We'll ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to keep her mantle over our hearts and our minds in these dark times. This is the times that uh, an eagle gets excited for. An eagle is the only bird that gets excited when it sees a storm coming, folks. We know it's coming, but we know there's a rainbow beyond the storm. We are going to have to go through communism ultimately to get to Catholicism. There's no way around it. Trump's not saving this country. Sorry, he isn't on the game. Hate to break the news to you, but it is going to crash and burn. We eagles will be there to pick up the scraps. We will make this uh, country Catholic. We will make it Christian. So let's get excited about that. Let's quit focusing in all, on all the negativity and the darkness and the despair and the chaotic uh, news stories that we read. Let's stay locked in on focus that we've got a job to do. And I'm here to help the West transition on into the true new day under the Blessed Virgin Mary and under our King and Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Folks, until next time, stay safe. God bless. Ave Maria.